to talk <laughs> about me even outside about the house. About you? Yes, you, you do. So every person that you still is calling me. Say, Are you so sure that I went to him? Can you let me speak? So backwards, come this way. Pera was so much to Pera and Tilo. So how did I say to Pera when Tilo? Because we found him with money. How much is the money? Hello everybody again. Welcome back to this channel again. If you're joining us for the first time, please don't always forget to subscribe to this channel and also press the post notification bell so that anytime I post a video, you don't miss my juicy analogy. Now guys, the big brother Niger reunion continued last night and it was nothing sort of a face off between uh, Boma and Queen. And guys, how did all this start? Now, it started whereby Ebuka was asking Peace, you know, a particular question. A video was shown actually where Peace was having a conversation with some particular people in the house during when she was the head of house uh, that, that week one actually. So, Ebuka asked her, you know, we saw the cross, we saw a lot of people there. So Ebuka asked her, were you guys, what were you guys gossiping about in the house? You know, Peace decided to tell Ebuka that, you know what, I was the head of house with one and I was kind of having a conversation with different people. And if having a conversation with different people means, means gossiping, then it means everybody was gossiping in the house. And Ebuka just asked a random question. Do you think that everybody was gossiping in the house? And we saw Boma contributing to that and also Queen also contributed to that by saying that, you know, everybody gossiped. And that is where Queen brought the question of Boma and Tega issue. And then guys, it ended up blowing into something that we could even fathom. Is it something also you think is inevitable? Because we're kind of sure it is. It's very simple. I mean, if talking to your friends is being a gossip, I guess I'm a gossip. And that's it. Do you think everybody did that? Absolutely. And guys, if you track backtrack a little bit, there was kind of this game that was in the house. Boma and Cross was actually they were actually playing a game of uh, question, and Cross started all the, all this thing. And you know, uh, Perry went ahead to ask Boma, why did you tell us that uh, maybe uh, Tegas, you know, was smelling, um, kind of having some fishy smell and all sorts of things. And you know. Uh, Boma went to it, I had to explain. It is something that was strategic, you know, because a parent knew that there was something kind of going on between Tega and, uh, you know, Boma. That is why he asked the question. And then Queen was like, you know, a full grown man like you, somebody who has, who is actually having sense, why could you actually ask such a question? And you know, Boma was busting, you know, Queen by telling Queen that you know what you didn't even understand the stem of the question. It was all about a game. I didn't intend Perry to ask me such a question because it was just a game that you were actually having. You know, I I know that you don't understand things because you're a local girl, and that is where you know fierce conversation broke out. It was an exchange of words that were hit. So backwards, come this way. Perry was so much to Perry. So how did I say to Perry when the question came? Is going this way. It's going clockwise and Look, it can't go back. Are you saying you didn't tell Perry this two no things? No conversation ever. There was never any It was just some games. He told me games. So where would my name come from that I said? So, so he was just saying say anything. No. 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 You know, because we found him with money. How much is the money? It's plenty. It's so not plenty, it's all plenty. plenty. And then guys, I also noted that none was ready to actually say the question as it was. So Tega came out full chest to ask, to say the question how it was. And then she went ahead and exposed everything. Oh, yeah. Today, just let me speak. So no, because I don't want to talk, talk in facts. Because me, everything I'm going to say, I'm going to be saying in facts. How were you so sure that I went to him? Now, one of the points that uh, Queen retaliated during that discussion during that argument she said that uh, you know Tega you know that you're somebody who was married you are married you, you, you when Tega when Boma was saying this thing in the house you didn't debunk Boma because you knew you were married and you debunked your, your husband what is this something that you're portraying to us because you're married and then we went ahead to say that you know during this particular moment Boma was trying to you know claim us because uh, at some particular moment you know when I came to the house you know Boma, Boma came to me and then we decided that we, we vibe, you know, we vibe, just vibe. But then by the end of the day, Boma came and told me that, you know, some girls are coming to me to ask me, wow, what are you having with Queen? And then Boma said, told me that I 
possibly uh, definitely have nothing to do with Queen. We're just vibing. And you know, Queen was mad at this particular moment because Boma seems to be playing, playing with her. And because Boma went all around announcing to people that they're not vibing with, they're just vibing with the Queen, they have nothing to do with it. So Queen felt, you know, she was being played. She was mad at this particular moment. And that is why Boma went ahead to say that Queen is actually forcing herself to me. And then Queen was like, I can't force myself to Boma. Take a look at it, guys. Just the three of us discussing what he has done to me, how he used me to do his strategy or what thing. And if Omar, there was no time in Biggie's house, I ever said, no, I want to date you. Did I say that? If Biggie can just, you see the way he's shouting. I never for one day said I wanted to date him. You guys, after this, we saw a booker actually moving to Beatrice. Now, Beatrice asked uh, Boma, Boma, why did you say that you found me irritating? I know, lots of words, you know, that uh, uh, Beatrice asked Boma. And Boma was like, what? I didn't find you irritating, bigger. Now, Beatrice was actually referring to uh, this thing because of a particular video that uh, after she had been actually a victim of the house, see, uh, she saw a video uh, going viral where Boma was telling other housemates that, you know, she is so much irritating. And so now, so now Boma was explaining why she had to say that Beatrice is irritating. Now, this was what he said. He said that uh, when Beatrice came to the house first week, you know, she came with some scars and Boma was like, uh, you know, trying to pump her, molly, molly coddle her and actually make the scar get out of her, her hand, you know, the, just the wound to heal. And then the following day, you know, he met Beatrice and then he asked Beatrice how he faring on. And the Beatrice was like, no, don't talk to me, don't ask me such questions. I, I don't like somebody who asking me why, how I feel. And Beatrice went ahead to say that, you know, I'm this kind of person who doesn't like to be asked how I feel and even remember some particular moment when Nini asked her how she feels she actually retaliated with a lot of force telling Nini don't ask me how I feel and that is how she explained to it and then these guys went ahead with their argument at some particular moment where we saw uh, Beatrice and Boma really really getting hard on their conversation now guys we remember that uh, Beatrice is one of the person one of the housemates who are very boring in the house they didn't come to entertain us they were giving us zero content guys i think Beatrice was not prepared mentally and that is why she was so bitter she's so bitter this is because she was actually evicted at uh, the early uh stages of the game and then there were some three people guys so this, this argument went ahead where we saw Beatrice actually went going ahead to abuse Boma saying that you are so mad your mouth is smelling you know I don't like your mildness don't talk to me again don't ever talk to me again you know that is why you know you are confused and then she was referring to you know she was even referring to the girlfriend of uh, Boma's girlfriend saying that your girlfriend is and I are far apart you know you are confused and that is why she was referring to that this fact that a Boma is confused because of her beauty and I was like what is happening here? So guys, what I've noted uh, during this reunion is that these housemates, most of them have never met since they left the house. They have never conversed anything. This is the first time they're meeting since they were evicted, some of them, since they left the house. So that is why they come to public and air all their dirty linen years because they have never actually recovered from what somebody did to them and they have never met to actually iron out their issues. Sadly. And that is why we have this kind of conversation in the reunion day four. So guys, kindly go ahead and tell me what you think about this reunion on the comment section. Go ahead and tell me your opinion about it. Was it something worthwhile for a bit to say all these things about Boma because we see that Boma is not cool. Uh, Beatrice is not cool with Boma. Uh, Angel was also not cool with Boma. Queen is also not cool with Boma. It's only Tega who seems to be very cool with Boma. So guys, so guys that is all I had for you. Kindly go ahead and let me know what you think about this in the comment section. And also subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to press on the notification bell so that anytime I post a video, you don't miss my new channel. Otherwise, bye bye for now.